What's up, internet? My name is Glassfoot, and today I have these two with me. I will have all of his socials tagged in the bottom. He is 007 All Might on pretty much everything. He's Twitch, Twitch Instagram, TikTok. Jacob here doesn't have any of that stuff. Woo! Uh, but today, we are going to be doing an MCU quiz that I have written myself because I think it'll be funny. And the loser has to eat this spicy ramen. So basically what this is going to work, I have 12 questions about the MCU. I'm going to ask it. They're going to write down their answers and then i show them to me when they are both confident that they have the answer. Are they like all yes or no answers or? No, they're pretty much mostly numbers. What if nobody gets it on the dot? Then, oh no, then, then they'll probably go to closest. Then it's closest, not all right. If it's not, then, then this, this is rigged and it's a setup. Right. Yeah, exactly. He just wants to see the spi spicy ramen for his views. What? No, I would never do that, ever. Anyway, question one. Tony Stark has appeared in most of the MCU films, starting off with his first one in 2008. How many films has Tony Stark appeared in within the MCU? Done. I mean, all of, appear all of his appearances. End credit scenes, anything like that. I think it's most Do you think you have the answer? I don't know. Alright, and reveal? Nine and ten. You are both wrong. Bullshit. The answer is eleven. He shows up in the end credit scene of the Hulk, and then he also is, appears in some archival footage in uh, No Way Home. So point no. Noah gets the point because he was closer. So if that gives you any test of how the rest of these questions are going to be. No Way Home? He didn't appear in that one. Yeah, he does. So Noah is actually correct. It's not Spider-Man No Way Home, it's Spider-Man Far From Home that Iron Man appears in. I'm just dumb. No, archival footage. There's, so a point where, there's a point where you see Tony Stark appear on the screen. Oh, I literally God. looked this up. It, the internet says 11. What's your source, class? So it's like yeah. your source. Yeah. My source is that I made it the fuck up. All right, question number two. Appearing in just as many movies, in about as many movies as Iron Man himself, is Nick Fury. What is the first movie that Nick Fury appears in? Are we talking about, like... You? Makes his first appearance on screen. If it's within the runtime of the film. Do post credit scenes count? Yes. Internet it's actor. in the How DVD release of the film! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, do you guys both have an answer? Yeah, I think so. Reveal. Iron Man 1. Iron Man, which is... Nice. Both of you are correct. Now, within the MCU, Hawkeye is a personal favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. What was the first movie that he appeared in? Do you have What's an answer now? And reveal. Point goes to Jacob. Thor. He yep. He is. He appears in Thor. Uh, he's he's in the. He, he has the the shield has the thing around the. Mjolnir yeah, he, he's hammer. part of the uh, security forces that are around Mjolnir after it crashes down to Earth. That's right. All right. So going into the fourth question is all tied up at two and two. Two and two. When the Avengers first get on the helicarrier, Tony Stark, while on deck, starts calling out a lot of the different crewmates, and he calls one of them out for playing a video game. What is that video game? You said on the deck that's actually yeah. on the bridge. Whatever, you know what I mean. No, if you need any hints, it is a classic video game. What? To do with alien invasions. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of them. Starship! Galaga. It is Galaga. Nice. Fifth question. Within the MCU, a fan favorite character is Korg. Known for multiple lines such as... Are you made of rook? There is no danger, unless, of course, you are made of scissors. Or interrupting Thor in random lines like, Oh my god, the hammer pulled you off. And probably the one that we have quoted the most, Piss off, ghost! But what is the line that Korg says to Loki when they meet during the rebellion that Korg leads towards the end of Ragnarok? I don't need exact wording, but a general gist of what he's saying. Loki uh, saying to Korg? No, that Korg says to Loki. When they're about to get on the spaceship? Yes, right before they get on the spaceship. You seem very confident in what you've written. Yes, because it, uh, it, it struck me as really funny when I watched it. I'm wrong, aren't I? I'm not telling you shit. I know you're not. Oh, this is fun. We're both wrong. I mean, that's what it is. That's why he's laughing. Oh, I don't know what he's written. He's actually holding it away from me. Do you have an answer? Reveal. Hey, man, we have it to get on that spaceship. Want to come? The rebellion failed. We ran out of flyers. You are incorrect. That line is when he's telling Thor how he actually ended up as a warrior slave on Sakaar because uh, he was going to have a rebellion, but he didn't print enough pamphlets. So the only people that showed up were my mum and her boyfriend, who I hate. Okay. But yes, the first line he says to Loki is, Hey man, we're about to get on that spaceship and fly out of here. Want to come? 
But no is going to get that point because it is closer. But question number six. We all know that Captain America uses his iconic shield made of vibranium and adamantium to fight multiple enemies. How did he come across his shield or get his shield in the first Avenger? Do you both have an answer? Yeah. Reveal. Tony's dead. Howard Stark makes it for Sort of, but you're both not looking having the answer I look for. The answer that I have is that he chooses it from all the options because it isn't overly high tech like the other. Which it was a prototype that Howard made and he had at the bottom of the pile here. He didn't intend for Steve to get that one. Steve chose it because he liked it best. You are both technically right and I will both give you the point. Tony listens to a lot of classic rock bands throughout the MCU. What is his favorite band? I have a really interesting story behind how I know this one if I'm right. If not, I'm not gonna say Reveal? It. Back in black! Correct. Yeah, I know that because I have I, have, I had a friend, he loves Iron Man. Back back in what, whenever that movie came out, I think. Two thousand eight. And I remember You were what, he, four? Nah man, I was in like second <laughs> or third grade. But I remember he was obsessed with ACDC because that was Iron Man's favorite band. Hmm. In Captain America and the Winter Soldier, during the first scene when Cap meets Sam, what musician does Sam recommend to him? What soundtrack? I, you only need to be the musician, you don't need the specific soundtrack that he listens to. You have been binge watching these movies, you should know the answer to this. <laughs> Your answer is so wrong, but it's so funny. Are you gonna change it? I'll let him know if his answer's wrong. I think you're pretty confident. <laughs> I'm pretty confident, it's right. Oh my god. Fine, reveal. You are both wrong. It is what? <laughs> the musician is Marvin Gaye off of the Trouble Man soundtrack. You sure about that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just watched the scene this morning. So you're going to do research for that, not for, you know, which scene Tony Stark's in? Going back to uh, Nick Fury. <laughs> 60 per what is the last line that we heard Nick Fury say in the MCU? Remember, end credit scenes kept. I will give you a hint, the last film that we saw him in was Spider-Man Homecoming. That Not count. Homecoming, Far From Home. That doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? That's not him. I haven't seen, I haven't seen any of those. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm confident I'm right. Reveal? He's played by Sam Jackson, it's a motherfucker. <laughs> no. You are a lot closer. Uh, the official line is, Where Who's got I? my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> but you are closer, so I will give you the point I... because you got you got the right gist of it. Anyway, uh, in Black Panther, the antagonist Eric Killmonger yeah. is the cousin to our protagonist T'Challa. But as a result, he has a Wakanda name. What is Killmonger's Wakanda name? Uh, it does not have to be one hundred percent correct spelling. And reveal, both of you are wrong. Dope. Uh, T'Chaka is his father's name. Ah, Unjobu is the name of Killmonger's father. Uh, Killmonger's true Wakanda name is Unjadaka. I damn it! Star Lord is known for listening to a bunch of classic music throughout the movies. Yeah. What is the first song that we hear Star Lord playing? The the first thing we see him on the planet when he's like picking up rats, monsters, and singing them. Done. <laughs> oh my god! You are so confident. Because they play it back in uh, Avengers uh, Endgame. Uh, both reveal? Uh, the answer I have written down is come and get your love. Is that... Come and get your yeah, love. Yeah, no, this is different. Okay, yeah, cool. That's what I thought. Hey, what's, what's the matter? What's the matter with... with oh, that's hey, right. Hey. Uh, the song is called Come and Get Your Love, though. Dope. But I will give you the point. Fuck yeah. And Fuck this off. is the final question. In the first Avengers film... Okay. Bruce Banner says that he tried to take his own life once. But he decided to do this by eating a bullet. What does he say that the Hulk did to prevent this from happening? Both good? Reveal? You are both correct. But I want a tiebreaker question because this is boring if they both have to eat it. A large portion of Doctor Strange revolves around the use of the Time Stone. Why is Strange told that he is not supposed to use this in any capacity? The specific rule he is given for why he's not supposed to use the Time Stone at all. Fine, if you both get this wrong, I'll eat the fucking ramen. Woo! Reveal? Destroying time is a... Because it means... Because it messes with the... Fabric of reality? That's there. actually very close to what it is. Yeah, is, is this not? No. I mean... At this point, we just devolved into arguing about what Doctor Strange specifically got told, and if what Jacob wrote was technically correct. 
Long story short, neither of them ate the ramen, and I ended up having to do it because both of them wussed out. It's good. <laughs> Can you see my face? Wait, are you really? Yeah. It's nice and orange. Please? Yeah. Fuck, that's hot. First bite down, how are you feeling, man? I bet you can breathe from your nose now. <laughs> I don't think I can eat any more of this. I don't know that I will ever be doing that again. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you like, links to all socials for uh, Noah and myself are going to be in the description down below as always. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you all have a fantastic day. Peace.